everybody. I'm Leon Tackett. I'm Eric Simmons. And this is Blasters Garage. Garage. What's happening, dude? What's up, Leon? Uh, what's all this up here about up there? That's Nelson's Garage, man. Remember, we're oh. taking everybody down to Cayucas to introduce them to Mike Shopshire. That's right, man. Are we going uh, like right now? We're going right now. We're going to go check out the axles. Cayucas, let's check it. Let's go! Bring See it! Mike! <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Rainy. We don't get to say that very often. Cayucas here in California. We're at Nelson's Garage. New owner, Mike Shops here. And he's going to tell us what he did with these axles. Mike, tell us, man. These things look bulletproof, man. Great, yeah. It. So, uh, you know, when these things came in, they were covered in rust and, and dried up grease. And it looked like they've been neglected under a vehicle for the last 40 years. So, yeah, we had to take them all apart and see what we really had. And uh, once we got the axles out, we found those things were trashed. Starting off with the uh, ring and pinion, we, we geared it to 488 with a nice set of nitro gears. We added an air locker from ARB. Uh, can't beat that long-lasting air locker. We went on to axles. We put some nice hardened uh, 4340 axles and new berths for this thing. So where were the axles from? Uh, the axles came from Just Differentials. Yeah, these guys were able to actually supply us with all of the nitro gear parts, uh, the, the complete knuckle rebuild kits. All the ARB uh, components that you see uh, we're, we're able to get from Just Differential. Those guys are stellar. These uh, studs in the top of the knuckles that hold your steering arm, arm in, uh, those things are, are known to snap off in, in some cases, especially when you're doing some hardcore wheeling with oversized tires like 35 inches. So we, uh, we went with an ARP hardened stud kit, cool. and uh, that should be pretty much the last time you're ever going to have to mess with those. Us. So we had to, to de blast all the, the knuckles and the backing plates and the hub assemblies in order to put our new stop tech drill and slotted rotors in. And so those stop tech rotors should be the last set you need. Rebuilt calipers, we got braided stainless brake hoses throughout, uh, brand new bearings all the way, wheel bearings and everything all the way to the, the manual locking hubs, which we replaced those as well. How'd the hubs look? I thought they looked really nice. Yeah, same thing with the hubs. They were crusty. I, they didn't nice. turn. Nothing was nothing wow. wasn't happy in there. Such this thing's going to be a, a brand new setup for, for the next guy who owns it. Uh, yeah, one last thing we added in there was uh, the ARP studs for those manual locking hubs as well. Hey man, that was a great trip down to see Mike, yeah? Hey, he did a great job on those axles. That's it, folks. Cayucas, Nelson's Garage. Those axles are now beast mode. And we got a frame ready. That's right. That means that we are going down to TAPS this weekend to install a new suspension. We will have a rolling chassis, guys. We got ARB all over this thing. Air lockers and all that stuff that you guys saw. ARB suspension. That's right. The thing is going to be killer. We got the body primered. It is primered. The body's primered, so we're ready to get the body. Once we get that chassis, we're going to put the body on the chassis. That's it. Then we're going to be ready for some paint. So you guys got to keep up. Stay and tuned. Watch. You got to stay tuned. Hey, guys, don't forget to support our troops. Like us and share us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Help us spread the word. Our men and women in the military will be grateful for your support.